Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video I just needed to sit down and do my makeup and I thought I would do it on camera. There's a few goodies that I want to test out. Ooh. Um, I want to, so these are a few makeup products that I've been buying and I store them away ready to do videos but today's the day I'm going to try quite a few products. So for primer I'm going to use the Prep and Prime PS one. This is the Bobbi Brown dupe so I'm so excited to use that. Um, powders, I have got the MAC Skin Finish um, Highlighter. This is in what Soft and Gentle. I've wanted this for years. I've got the NARS Blusher and Bronzer. I don't know if I'm going to try it. I don't know if I'll put it on because normally I don't want to put it on and then ruin my face. The makeup. I've got just the Benefit Gimme Brown. I've tried it before. I don't know if it's the same shade that I've had before, but I thought I'd use that. Too Faced, the Natural Nudes palette. Bobbi Brown Mascara. And then for lips, I've got three MAC Lip Sticks and this little Lies Waiter product. No idea what it is, um, but I don't know which one I'm going to choose yet. So today is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to just do a nice makeup routine so I can look nice when David gets home. I'm going to curl my hair as well. Oh, it does smell nice. It smells like um, sun lotion. I do need quite a lot. Hopefully it's quite moisturising. It should be because it's um, vitamin enriched moisturising primer with oat oil shea butter to help support the skin's moisture barrier. Contains vitamin E, vitamin C and niacinamide. That's wrong. Yeah, that's actually a really nice primer and £4.50 quite expensive for Primark but compared to the Bobbi Brown one I do not think it is at all so I'm gonna let that sink in for a little while and then we will go on to concealer and foundation I would definitely be using the Estee Lauder double wear I've still got loads of these little samples I've got a hair in my mouth I think I'm going to try this one today and I'm not going to put a concealer on yet. I'm going to see what it's like. So I'm going to put the Estee Lauder Pure Beige on with the Real Techniques BBCC brush. This is quite old, but I found it in my collection, like hidden away. I was like, right, I need to get that back out and start using it. Oh, probably too much. I'm going to use this PS My Perfect Colour Perfect Fix Finishing Powder from Primark. I've hit pan again. This was £2. And I do go through it quite quickly actually. I've got two Benefit Gimme Brows. I've got a small one and a big one. They are in shade 3. I have no idea what shade this one is because it is all rubbed off. But it is literally nothing in it. So it will be really nice. I can bin this. Well, I'm going to put it in a bag for my empties video. And let's open the mini version. Oh, that's so cute. It is so small. Right. I have missed using this. I used to wear it every single day for work. MAC highlighter. I'm so excited to try this. 
I can't believe I haven't got around to trying it yet. Soft and gentle. How long I've wanted you. The NARS blusher and bronzer. I am terrible. I'd never even use blusher actually, but I'm terrible at bronzer. So should we give it a go? This is a duo, and it, so they are quite small products, but I'm so happy I've got these. I wanted these for a long time as well. And also, I never use the right um, brushes for what I'm using it for. So bronzer. To be fair, isn't this contour what I'm now doing? Told you I'd mess it up. I will say now I am not any good at makeup. Blusher, just a tiny amount. I don't know if I can even notice that, but I don't want to do any more and then mess it up. So it is now time for eyeshadow. I've got the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette. Oh, it is beautiful. And I have no idea what colours I'm going to use. I always go for the same. And actually, that's why this palette is actually really good for me. Because it's got the nudes, but it's got the rose gold it's got the normal gold the pinky gold so i'm actually a really big fan of this palette actually so i'm going to go in with petal first all over my face you might not be able to see because i'm now just going to do it in the mirror So that is with petal on first. Then I'm going to go over with warm rose. I'm going to put sparkling rum over the lid. Okay, it's not it's not as glittery on the lid and it's not paying off very well either on the lid right I think that's the best I can do with eyes to be fair and then I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit you the beauty liquid twist I think it's so pencil or liquid i don't i'm sure i've tried this before maybe it was another huda beauty product i like a thin line and this is quite chunky to be honest do not recommend this eyeliner at all so normally i don't have an issue i'm going to come a bit closer so you can see so my lashes are covered in it the flicks are massive and look i've got it literally everywhere so i've tried to clear up this mess i'm gonna put the bobby brown mascara on and then try and put the false lashes on i don't know to be fair i haven't got the willpower to put lashes on right now but we'll see I'm going to cover the lashes in this Bobbi Brown mascara. I think it's a mini travel size one, but it's quite nice actually. It's separating the lashes really well, even though they are covered in eyeliner. So it's doing a really good job actually. I would really recommend this mascara actually. Lengthening. It says smoky eye mascara. Intense. I really like this actually. Let's see if we can tackle 
the eyelashes. I'm going to hold them with my tweezers and cover it in glue. a bit out there to be honest don't think they blend very well with your lashes and I'm going to use the pencil eyeliner to just do my top waterline these are nice eyelashes they're £3 and they are the Girls With Attitude from Primark range but they're very long so they're going to take a while to get used to. That is my makeup sorted. To be fair, the lashes are really nice. I'm a little bit disappointed with the Too Faced eyeshadow. I just don't think the payoff is worth it, to be honest. I thought it would be a bit better, but I can still play around with it. Like I say, this is just first impressions. I do not like this highlighter at all. Why do I keep calling it a highlighter? I do not like this um, eyeliner at all mascara was really lovely i do actually like these lashes um i haven't done lips but i will do that when i curl my hair so yeah i will be back with you when i maybe i'll curl my hair off screen i'll do that on the phone with tara and then i'll come back for the final so i'll see you in a bit it is a lot later now it is near well five o'clock gone five um i curled my hair about an hour ago been on the phone to mum and yeah it's now time to do lipstick so i'm not quite sure which product to use actually when i get a chance i don't i like to stick to a makeup routine that i know oh it's the cutest little lipstick ever let's use this i have no idea what shade it is all the packaging has worn off so let's put this lipstick on this is the cutest it's going to be so good for nights out because it'll just go straight in my handbag It is actually a really me lipstick as well. Mm. Really happy with that for comparison. I think that's really cute. Um, so let me just run through um, the products that we use today. Glad I've got. Need to definitely start using it a little bit more. Having a look at the shades. I wasn't overly happy today with this product. Lipstick big big fan lashes they did need gluing on again in this the inner corners um but that could just be me and my way of putting them on i'm not exactly brilliant at it mascara i really really rate actually i'm glad i've got that um yeah i'm now putting all these products in in my makeup drawer now there's still, so the MAC lipsticks will go back in and there's some products over there that need to be tested at a later date. I'm now just tidying up, but I need to come on and finish this video. So thank you so much for watching. This is the final um, look. Um, the curls on this side have dropped a little bit. They never go as well as this side. I think it's because I'm right-handed and I can twirl and hold the wand better on this side. But yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and stick around for more videos. Bye.